Lot ho there, peasants, and welcome. Welcome to my sort of freaking game. This is the mighty quest for the epic loot. I need a travelling minstrel to sing that to me every time I play this game. Here we have the mighty quest for epic loot. Possibly the best named game ever. I'm going to put that out there. I'm just going to say this is probably one of the best named games ever. It's pure and simple. Pure and simple. That's how pure and simple it is. It's pure and simple. It's basically so simple you have to raid castles and it's just madness. And the whole idea is to get as much loot as you physically can. Now this is currently in closed beta, but it has an open weekend at the moment until something like September 1st, which is Sunday. So I highly recommend that you go over to the website and you download this and have a good play because it is so much fun. It's one of the free-to-play games I've actually found really good fun and willing to jump on to all of the time. Anyway, let's get into the nitty-gritty of what this game actually is. Oh, tea is so good. So here we are in my castle. This is what it is at the moment. It's not very spectacular. I mean, it's only level... I think that might be the castle's level, level 7, something like that. But anyway, it's got 115 different things floating around in it. Well, it's not really 115. There's various amounts of different bits and bobs. But when you get into this, you get to move around absolutely everything you like. As long as your castle heart is roughly there, then you're fine. It can face whatever angle you like. You can change them around willy-nilly. Originally, it was just these three. Uh, but I moved shit around and moved them all around here. So basically the whole point of the game is to build your own castle and defend your own castle. That's the thing. Everyone's got their own funky floating places dotted around the spot and it's all fun and games. So when you build these bits and bobs, you get to put down whatever types. You can zoom right in and have a good look. You can even test your own castle. Here we've got a load of derps. These guys are called derps. And these little funky weird guys shaking around voodoo dolls are like people that summon stuff up. They're bone puppeteers. And we've got the same going on that side over here. We have a, a, a renegade hamster in an evil looking hamster wheel with a couple of cyclopses nearby and of course one of these puppeteer guys as well. Now when you're first starting off I highly recommend you get these puppeteer guys because they have a tendency to, they summon up loads of other stuff and uh, chances are there's a lot going on. Or if you're an art, if you're the guy is attacking an archer or something, he can't necessarily get to these guys really quite easily. Unless you're a knight, in which case you just man through and go for it. Now with some more derps around. Here. Oh, moving across, we've got funky, weird serpenty type dealies, and of course Squiddy, which is basically a squid in a barrel. Excellent. Moving across some more uh, cyclops, Cy, cyc cyclopi, cyclopi, cyclopses. Cyclop cyclopi. I don't know what the plural is for cyclops is cyclops is, 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 is. and there's a couple more here. And over here we have this chap, which is known as Pete Poundmore. He's basically just a, a boss sort of cyclops. There are a number of different bosses that you can you can bring in, and of course there's the castle heart with your uh, with your gold and stuff. So the whole idea is to make it through the castle in as little amount of time as possible, but loot as much as possible. Hence the reason for the mighty quest for epic loot. You're basically the whole point of this game is looting. You've got Two different types of, um, well, actually technically three different types of currency. You have gold, uh, like like life force, it's sort of called, and the emeralds, which sort of speed stuff up. Now, essentially, yes, it is to free to play, and at the moment, I wouldn't even say it's pay to win. It doesn't seem to be that. I mean, they're quite because it's in closed beta, but it's it, they're quite generous in the way with the amount of stuff that you get and the uh, the cost of things. But uh, you definitely want to you definitely want to rank up your summoning portal as much as possible. Uh, that will come in use most of all, and of course you can upgrade your uh, your castle heart as much as you can as well. You need six grand for that, so you're going to need to upgrade the uh, storage a couple of times as well. But you can upgrade everything, and as you can see, it's all done in time based. It's not done, and uh, you can speed it up. I could speed it up with a couple of emerald sort of things, but you kind of want to ration them a little bit because if you don't, chances are something you desperately need is going to crop along, and you spent them all on upgrading faff, you know. So you can have a number of different characters at a time. At the moment, there are only three. There's the knight, the archer, and the mage. However, the mage is only available to people who pay for it, basically. You can, you can buy your way into the beta, or you can get invited. I was invited into it, thankfully. Didn't buy my way in. It's about a tenner to buy your way into a basic beta, which is what I've got at the moment. Alternatively, you can pay 40 quid, which is quite a lot to unlock quite a substantial amount of stuff. But it's still 40 quid. That's a lot of money to uh, to fork out for a game which is supposed to be free to play. I understand it's in beta, but you do like on the mage, unlock the mage doing that. And I really want to play the mage. I'm annoyed I haven't yet played him because I'm obviously a magey type character. So that's your castle. Let's go and raid some castles, shall we, and see what you have to do. It's very, very simple. You can either test your own castle or you can go off and attack. Now, yes, you can defend it as well if you... Um, um, if someone's attacking it when you happen to be on the game, you can't defend your castle and you can go and kill them and you believe you get an achievement for doing that. But this is basically the castles which are all around you. They 
come up to rough sort of levels of what you are. Now there are different regions and whatever. Here's a region map. You start here, so if you want to start a new character, you've got to jump back to Little Spittily, which is all sort of computer-based stuff. You've got competitions and friend zones and the scented gardens, which is where you are at the moment. Obviously, as you go further and further, it gets harder and harder. So there you go, let's go and attack some castles, shall we? Let's go and find some as the knight. I quite like the knight. I used to, I did play as the archer, but I prefer the knight these days. The archer's a little bit weak in my opinion. But anyway, let's go and attack some stuff. Now, once you get in, it is fairly Diablo-y. It's sort of top-down. You have a couple of skills which you can use and you can level up your characters. I've got some badass glowing, like, lightsaber sort of thing going on here. It's like a massive bastard in Claymore. But anyway, so you have to make sure you get through without dying. If you die, you can resurrect, but then you don't get any of the bonuses. So it's best not to die. And you can get yourself, um, you can make yourself some potions and all this jazz. So you're definitely going to be doing that as well. So, the whole idea is to make it through the castle without dying. Now that's actually a lot more uh, harder than it can be, some, you know, than it sounds. Sometimes you get some really annoying gloves. There's a couple of Cyclopses and a couple of these Defendertrons, which are freaking irritating. Now all of the different, like, major things, like the one you've got on the screen at the moment, you can change their sort of stance, if you like. That's probably the best way to put it. You can change their stances of what they sort of, what they sort of can do. Some can charge, some have got like a massive sort of pummely sort of crap they do at you and it's kind of annoying. But these are some of the traps in action. Now you've got to make your way through the castle. Now the castles can be a bit of a maze because sometimes things, you know, you don't get to see as far ahead as you'd like to and all this stuff. But this is quite a small one. It's only like level 5 castle, so it's not too difficult to make your way through. It's actually quite an easy castle thing to consider. And we're practically at the end right about now. Whenever you get to this last room here, which you've got all the main areas, generally where the boss is, you can see like the gold mines down the sides. This is generally the last room. This person doesn't have a boss. He just has three Cyclopses and a couple of snotters and some annoying smelly um, archers. They're actually called smelly archers. I'm not even joking there. So I highly recommend that you do get this game because it is damn good fun. I am, I'm so looking forward to seeing where this game goes because it is an absolute great fun game to play. It's one of those games you can just pick up and just mess around on for a little while. And then, and then move on while you're upgrading stuff. You know, it's sort of like a game between games, which is nice. So when you finish, you get to boot down the final door, skadoosh, wander in, and go and loot the hell out of whatever's in here. Unfortunately, the chests aren't very big. They should be massive if the castle's really good. It'd be really cool. Anyway, guys, that pretty much continues, continues, finishes the game. But the word of the video today is, of course, mighty. Mighty is the word, so make sure you post that in the comments below so I know you've made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And when, if you get this, don't forget to rate the castle as well, because you will get some extra money, which is awesome. All money is good money. Anyway, guys, a bit for well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe as well. Much love. Love you all. Toodle freaking ooh.